All right, all right. I see you guys getting better. All the teams that are getting sent now are, are doing really, really well. So I'm really proud of everyone here in the Discord group. And if you aren't in the Discord group, get in there. What are you doing? 2,700 people. Let's get to 3,000 before the end of round 13. Do you reckon we can do that? I reckon we can. Um, but yeah, everyone's in here is improving so much and it's really great to see. So Sexton on the beach here, ranked 550th and, and doing a great job. Obviously the 15 trades remaining, not a great idea, but we've got some questions here. Trade outs uh, for King, it looks like, and, and Maxi as well. I can trade him to Peoples and Bank Cash. So yeah, this one obviously, you know, Peoples hasn't been named. This one was obviously before. Team lists, unfortunately, Taft to Kiraz would be the way to go for sure. When Origin happens with uh, Will Mile, they actually play some decent minutes. So that's gonna that was kind of my my point on Peoples, uh, that he could potentially play some minutes there through round 17. And that's going to be the only one, the only round that you think that um, he'll he'll play. And Davy's going to be in now the side on a general basis. So he's probably only going to get the 10 to 15 points anyway. So... With him, I wouldn't be worrying too much, to be honest. I think, you know, Taft to Kiraz to get some extra money gain is going to be ideal and just probably copying the Saab and, and Mawale on the um, on the extended bench there. Um, please score a try, Walter. Yeah, I agree. I want to see him play well. Um, such a beautiful, talented young man. Who should I trade next round? Origin players, probs like Haas and Grant. So well, let's just take this first one and have a look. we got, who, who's going to be in here playing Origin? Definitely. We've got Harry. We've got, you know, we've got Payne Haas. We've got Cleary in there. And then we have probably Nico Hines. So there's four. And and four is okay, an okay amount to, to hold through the, the next, you know, six, seven, eight weeks. I think if you're going more than out of five, six, seven of guys that are definitely playing Origin, I think trading one or two of them would probably be an ideal way to go about it. And secondly, the thing is to think about the trades. So if you're sitting with 15 trades and the five to six Origin guys, then... I'd suggest probably holding those guys because you want to have you're going to want to have them for the last six seven rounds uh, in your gun final seventeen. If you have twenty trades, then I think you can make one or two of those marginal sideways trades, trading out a gun to get an extra score in thirteen or an extra score in uh, seventeen, or you think they're not going to back up, for example, so you're getting to someone good uh, for an extra two weeks, for example. That's the way I would think about it personally. Um, yeah, so obviously team list Tuesday's coming. I think the Taft to Karaz would be an ideal one. Other than that, the team's looking really solid, man. And just, yeah, you're obviously wanting Walsh to score a try. you got Burton in there. You're looking good with Harry uh, and obviously uh, Paps and Cleary and Haas. But um, with Harry, there sounds like he might be in a little bit of doubt. So they're having a few guys out, unfortunately, at the moment, Storm. But um, yeah, with, with Harry, you've obviously got the cover there. Uh, and yeah, you'd obviously be able to move on from, from Cola, but probably play Lockie Elias this week if that's the case. So that's that first team. And a little bit of alpha on how to... Yeah, maneuver through the next bunch of weeks anyway. All right, we spoke about this team a few times, but again, rank 15, 22 in a good position with 18 trades and plenty in the bank. Plans to make two trades and hold through round 13. Good luck with that. <laughs> it's very hard to hold in round 13, that's for sure. It's like, oh, I can get an extra 50 points here. Trades that we made are Randall to Torhu or McInnes. Not sure who to pick up here between the two. I would go Torhu this week and McInnes in round 14, if you can do that. Taft to Karaz, yeah, go for it. That's fine. Lumi is an origin player. Cotter, uh, is that a concern for an overall player? Definitely, but you know, it, he'll probably back up for, for Cowboys if he happens to. You just have to cop that miss and, and keep him because he's scoring really well. All right, so I think we're looking at Payne Haas or Elliot. I think Elliot here, his minutes going to be a problem potentially, but he's score he's you know priced low enough that anywhere in the 40s for points is going to be great. King hold until after 13. Interesting how many mins Max gets on edge. Yeah, if he actually plays there, it'll be interesting. Uh, Gola still have uh, some cash to make or move on after 13. Let's just work it out. Well, you got two more rounds before that, and you can go from there. People's to sell. Let's just hold, man. 305k, not worth it. You've got you're doing pretty well in terms of your emergencies. You haven't got like Amoale, uh, um, Vialea, these guys that don't do anything. So I think you're fine, man. Um, Randall's the one to go though. Definitely, uh, if you can do that. And number two, I'd be happy with those trades, man. Gets you down to 16, improve, improves the team. Doing well. All right, this one's hard to see, but doing really well. 211th overall rank and a nice round 12 rank of 521. Hey, Jamie, thoughts on the team? Who am I trade out thinking to Alangi? And maybe Stephen Crichton. Uh, yeah, there's a good chance he plays Origin, which is an annoying one. But I'd be holding Stephen. He's playing really well. Uh, and scoring well, there's no point trading him out this week. I personally would just go, you know, to Alangi to Karaz, to be honest. I think would be the easiest way to go about it. Do I have enough around 13 players? Well, if Cotter doesn't play and Crichton doesn't play, it hurts you. But obviously having Manu in there, you and Aiken, for example, Crichton's probably a bit of a worry. Obviously, you know, potent, good chance of playing Origin. Burton and King, Elliot is nice with Tungol. So obviously your bench guys are good with Kola. 
Uh, so you're looking okay. I'd probably want to make a couple more trades though before then, and Karaz is going to help that. And then probably two more gets you to 12, 13, and you'll be fine there. But yeah, doing really well overall. Good stuff, man. All right, poor bags, 1637 overall rank. We're looking at 20 trades remaining, 161 in the bank. I'm wanting to trade Tuolangi and Jay King for Toho and Karaz. Helps out for buy round uh, and bank Tui before you lose too much cash. Yeah, just lock it in, man. That's really, really solid. Um, obviously, got Schiller there. The rest of the guys are sweet. Blake Taft's going to be a trade out in the next few weeks. Potentially Ilias, uh, these types of guys. But other than that, seems looking good. Lock it in. All right, plenty to talk about in this one here. Harry Go Grant. 915 rank, as I said, everyone's doing really well. It's really impressive. 467k in the bank, 15 trades is obviously the slight issue. Starting to realize I can seriously double trade, double trading just isn't a way. I can still save myself, but I know what to do differently next year. Yeah, awesome. That's all it's all it's about. Learning and it's still in a, in a great ranking. And if you hold a little bit, you can um you can get there. Talakai and Tualangi uh butchered a peoples was last week's awesome. Spend the cash big on Leo or Blake Taft, anyone playing round 13, or hold some cash by trading Turbo for anyone playing round 13. Yeah, so Turbo is obviously a sell. I can't believe he's 635K. He's going to be cheap next year when we start. That'll be a fun one uh, to pick up. Tommy to any of the guns, man. If you can do that, that would be ideal. You obviously don't have a gun wing fullback, so there's a few options in there with, with guys like Joey Manu. Uh, we spoke about Jaden Campbell in the last one. There's some sneaky options if you wanted to play that way. Don't like the idea of picking up a round 17 player now and having them miss 13. But players like Ryan Madison, Cam McInnes are making the decision very difficult. Yeah, but you can get them in 14, man. They're only you know, missing one more week. They're not going to gain too much in cash for it to be really annoying. It's going to be more annoying than not playing in, in 13 when you have less trades remaining. But up to you. If you want to go the double trade, you could. But, you know, Tommy to just one of the top guns that's playing in 13 could be a solid option for you. I um, mean, you've got that big list of, of potential guys. Um, I avoided it last time. I'm not getting away with it this time. Well, look, it's cold here in Sydney. I've just got back. And the guns are out. What, what more can you want? They're fat guns now, but they're out. Um, emergency is an idea, however, I do have the 467. Yeah, the Tamalolo is a tough one. Uh, if you trade Trevojevic out, you'll be able to double loop, which will be cool. But yeah, other than that, thank you for all that information. Good stuff. Team 6, forgot to uh, remove the highlight before screenshotting it, but it's all right, Mixed Pigs, we got you. Another great ranking, 684, 15 trade. Already used the true this the, the two this week. Hey, up, Jamie, big thanks for tips this year. Only my third year playing over in the UK. Yes, we got a UK following us. I saw we got about 1% of my audience is UK, so welcome. Uh, thanks for being here. Tips help me do the best I've done yet. Currently set second in my UK league out of 24. Hell yeah, good man. Love this. Trades this week, Tass plus Tui to Johnson and Savage. Oh, my worry is with Johnson Maeve is is you're going to be chasing points. So I would personally go for a different option than Johnson this week. But I, I understand why you're going for that one. Uh, in terms of your bench, look and see. Yeah, Olakuatu would be a nice improvement score. Thought behind these, are th round 13 playing also Tui losing cash. Yeah, that's all part of it's fine. I just think that the... um. That Johnson, you're chasing a little bit, but I can't understand why. He's definitely been improving. Uh, you might get a bit of a hot streak, you know, all, all those things. I think keeping JT as I heard is only short term. Yeah, I think that's solid, man, especially with the amount of trades you got. Could trade our uh, straight swap between to Tohu or Marison, uh, Madison with a cheapy Savage. Look at Ezra, but no. Any tips or trade options you would consider? Yeah, just worried about Johnson, and I think you could, you could hold Lolo or straight swap if you like. Um, but I understand why you're you're going for the Johnson one. If you want to, you know, if you love watching him play and you want to go for it, you also have this, you know, six hundred and six k you could use. Um, you could use, you know, you can move Hines up to to half. You can go with Jaden Campbell. There's a few options there, but you know, Johnson could continue to score around that forty five fifty. I just think those eighties are going to be few and far between. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Will Ennis, rank forty three, killing it, absolutely killing it. I love this. I think you're going, uh, Leo Leo Thompson. I think you're going. Blah. Think of going and Leo Thompson to. I oh, just think of going Leo to Sexton. Oh, we're going for second. We've already got DCE and Cleary. That's my worry there. Uh, I understand you're probably going to want a starting half. Would be good. Uh, just be aware of what Sexton did before. He's obviously had a couple of good weeks. Too long into Karaz, lock it in. Um, yeah, I think that's probably better, man, just to hold that one. And Leo's obviously going to lose a bit of cash, but you could do that. You could get Karaz and. Savage, and then you got 20 trades, man. You could try it and get some cash out of those two, get a couple of really good 13 players, and then you know, use that cash in round 14, for example, to really get an upgrade with a McInnes or those types of guys. That's some things you can think about. Um, you know, get an extra couple of players for 13, then really launch into 17, and then you've got some keepers heading into the rest of the year. That's a, a solid thought, I think, came from me. So, 
you know I love myself. <laughs> anyway, um, the low, low hold, yeah, up to you on that one. We spoke about him a fair bit. All right, three, five, nine, eight. The first one is very similar to me in the overall rank, beating me, actually. Well done to all these teams that I like to give advice to and, and can't do it myself. But anyway, 15 trades remaining, 109. The Bunker Brawlers. Thoughts are to trade Talakai to Tohu in one trade. Lock it in. That's good. Feeling a bit weak in the halves, so I need to prioritize Cleary. Or hold off until after Origin. Definitely hold off, man. There's every chance that he could uh, get a little niggle and, and be rested and all that kind of stuff. They don't need, they're doing that well. They don't need to back him up, but obviously they might want to. And he'll want to play, obviously. Kiraz is pretty close to a must have uh, last week, I think, to pick him up. It'd be a bit too expensive next week for just a 13 grab. I'd be moving on Tui. The other two are holds. Um, you're welcome, Bunker Brawlers, for Discord advice. Get in there, guys. It's a lot of fun, uh, plenty of learning. Uh, especially if you know, just pretend like think of it. Yeah, if, if you're in this situation, you're not going too well this year. You're doing okay. You're sitting anywhere from five to thirty thousand. Um, you're very new to the game. Just get in there and do some learning, man. Like the next few years is where you're going to do really well. And, and you, it, it's crazy that how um, amazing the feeling is and the rush you get when you're actually you know, scoring really well and ranking well in fantasy. You you get so engaged. You watch every game. You, you're in. You're really into it. So if you can learn and do really well. Um, it's a lot of fun. So yeah, thanks for that love, Bunker Brawlers. It's great to have you in there. All right, Team 9. So we've got um, a couple of here. It's very hard to see, but we'll we'll scroll on through. Uh, overall rank 2120 here. We've got the Scum Boys last week team. Not worried about my trades for now, even though I'm quite low, sitting at 12. Uh, I definitely wouldn't be worried. Uh, round 13, I have a predicted win for private league, hence why I'm not worried about trades. Okay, cool. Don't trade. Uh, I'm comfortable with main roster. I'm using trades for constant cash build up. Thirds on Burbo to Mam and Peoples to. No, don't do it. Hold. Hold. <laughs> uh, don't trade too many hearts over there getting those guns out. I appreciate that, good man. Um, no hearts were broken. All right. What are you dealing with here? Elliot called uh, Hughes back is ideal. Um, I would just probably go the one trade, man. If you're gonna trade, just bring in. I just bring in Karaz. Don't be, don't be silly. And, and those other ones, I think that's very, very silly. Um, potential squad, yeah, man. And Brown, I get what you're doing. You're chasing last week's points. I understand that they're gonna make a, some cash this week. Brown, we don't know what kind of role he's got, and Mam's got one more week, so that's very silly in my opinion. But that's only my opinion. You can do what you please, young man. All right, Team 10, what trades this week? Possible trade so far? Arrow to Nat Butcher, McInnes has to IPAPs. Toho Harris. Uh, we've got Payne as captain. I don't know why you'd be moving him on personally. King's a hold. Tafta Karaz is a solid one. And you could go Arrow moving upwards if you'd like to Butcher or Tohu this week. Uh, Tohu, sorry. Um, they're, they're the options. Done. Lock it in. Uh, cool. So far, just uh, Tulangi to Karaz. Not sure who to send Brad to. Schneids. Yeah, that's a tough one. What's we'll he? 463. Savage is appealing for obvious reasons. Also, Ramsey, if he keeps his spot, could go great because he looks much improved. He does look much improved, but that was one game. I would be personally going Savage uh, over uh, Ramsey, and that would bank you a fair bit of cash, right, which would be cool. Or you can upgrade if you went to, 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 to eat a Karaz. That gets you... Oh, you've already done that. Okay, so 191 on Schneid's. Um, yeah, watch my video, my buy, hold, sell. If you think that any, if Snyder fits any of those ones, cool. If not, just go to Savage, man. Um, I think that'll be fine. Grand possibly a trade agus you could be out for three. If you could have for three weeks, really, that bad. That's scary. Yeah, he's definitely trade out if he's out, but we need confirmation of that. If he's an out and they say he's out for a while, then definitely I would be trading him out because um, he'll miss, what, 12, 13, 14, 17, potentially 18 if he's carrying a little bit. So, yeah, that's a lot. That's definitely a lot. All right, let's move on. I am Will. 13,000, our first tough team. All right, 16 trades remaining. We got this. Trying to hold trades here. Didn't trade last week. Nice. Holding Lolo concern with my reserves, though. Yeah, for sure. Especially if Harry's out. That'd be that'd suck. Yeah, who do you play? Leo or, or too long? It's half as well. He's starting. Yeah, it's a bit of a tough one, mate. Um, do you make one trade? I think you do. I think you got to trade too long to Kraz. Just do one, man. Yeah, leave yourself a 15. Um... Yeah, and if you're struggling for trades, I wouldn't worry about King straight out, you know, straight away. Just do Tui, Tui out or Leo, up to you on that one. All right, 9880 overall, 17 trades, 239 in the bank. Awesome, thanks for that, Adi. How do I get Papali'i for round 14? All right, Arrow's going to have to go. Paulie Vaughan could potentially go as well after he plays 13. Tui needs to get downgraded to Karaz. That'll give you some ca extra cash. Oh, you'll be fine, man. 
That's heaps. You got 239 in the bank, and then you can trade down to Karaz, for example. Um, let's hope Walsh goes well. You got Hughes there. He's going to be set for round 17. Hey Singh, same thing. Um, yeah, they're the three, man. I'd just go for that and work your way up. Arrow, Vaughn, Tulangi. Downgrade, upgrade. Bang. All right, 547, this overall ranks. One dive. Thoughts on the general team. Want to bring in Karaz for final trade until buy round. Awesome. Don't know who to bring him in for, though. Thoughts. Leo Thompson, man. Look, get rid of him. Bang. Easy. 11 place round 13 half. 12 if I bring Karaz. Yeah, man. Lock it in. That's, that's good. You might have to trade heading into the 13. No, no real urgencies. 14 trades post 13. Yeah, we'll have to deal with it, won't you? Um, of course, he's a great captaincy option. Don't be silly. Walter's not an urgent sell. He's doing fine. He's making a bit of cast, actually. So that's that. Here we go. A little bit of nighttime vision here. 35, 961 is our overall rank. 11 trades remaining after two this week. Just picked up McInnes for Schneider. Hoping he keeps up the 50s. I'm hoping you're playing head-to-head -head here. Struggling a little bit for center. Had to get rid of Talakai, though. Yeah, I understand that. That's fine. It's going to bring in Brake Braley, but decided to finally get Hines for Snyder. Yeah, if you're, if you're here for a head-to-head -head comp, then those two are trades are awesome, man. Um, yeah, it's just hard with the lack of cash cows and then the people's, Mr. People's going down. Sean Russell in there. Definitely need to. To be honest, mate, I'd probably... Can you do... Can you do Russell or People's downgrade to Karaz? Oh, that's not even downgrade, is it? Ugh. I probably want another player, man. So if you can go Russell or Peoples... Mowale, Wishart, one of those guys to Karaz. And then somehow probably wait on Hines and, and still stick with the McInnes one. If you can do that, or however the money works on that one, I think you should do that because you got one, two, three, four players not playing. Uh, and then, you know, Cole is the only guy there. And if Harry's injured as well, it's a big worry. So I'd probably go the other two if you can, man, um, instead of doing that. Oh, actually, just actually, yeah, Flick Schneider. Yeah, which you're going to, and then just do uh, one of those other guys I think will be better. Just hold on to Talakai, I think, for this week. Fix up that stuff, and then you can get Talakai out next week if you want to. Hope that helps. All right, a few more to go. The Grousman United, 917 overall rank, 16 trades, 220 in the bank. Burning through the trades at the moment, but somewhat set up for round 13. We'd have a cash in the bank. Good stuff. Currently going Taff to Karaz this round. Awesome. Bit disappointing. Peoples has been dropped. Thinking he can play during Origin. Yeah, let's hope he has a chance at some point because he obviously had a good first game. Not as good last game, but you know, that's normal for rookies. Any trade ideas or advice would be greatly appreciated. Thinking too long he has to go. It leaves me 662 for someone. Thinking McKinnis, but not much point. Yeah, obviously I had a few options in my bag there that I was talking about the buy hold sell, so pick one of them. Mean he was not a great idea. Hope for a nice few scores at fullback until Pap comes back. Yeah, he's just a bit too expensive, man, at 500k. Um, but yeah, the Tua Lungi needs to go. That's the safe one. Uh, probably go Tui over Taff this round, but up to you. Hey, you want to play that? You could use the second trade. You could do that. Um, yeah, with the Tua Lungi one. If you want to, uh, if you've got someone in mind, uh, that would be fine, especially looking with Grant out as well, potentially. All right, just wanted to chuck this one up there. Thank you for popping that up. Again, just trying to get as many desktop ones as possible. But 13 trades left. We have trade out Randall to a Burton or something like that. That'd be sick if you can do that. Uh, and then you could straight swap Talakai to one of the big guns if you like, man. I think that would be sweet. Um, yeah, just obviously with your cheapies on the bench, just be aware of that as well. Um, that's it. You already had Karaz last week. Good stuff. But yeah, Randall out. Talakai can go out as well. Or you can bring in a Savage, for example. You could try that one. Cool, cool, cool. All right, here he is, Mr. Derek. Gone from second to 16, poor bloke. Brought in Brandon Smith. Tough times, tough times. They already got him in emergency five. <laughs> um, time in America is great, good man. Guns are looking huge. Yeah, I told you, fat, fat guns. Funds, we're calling them. 466 in the in the bank is interesting, though. Trade this week of Talakai and Tui to Karaz and Butcher. Allow me to do Taff. Oh, he's already made the two. Uh, sorry. Uh, Taff to Tohu next week and attempt to hold as much as I can from there. I just do one trade and miss out on Karaz or Butcher. Nah, I'll do the two, man. Lock it in. You'll be sweet. Um, and hopefully Harry plays, hey? Loop Smith and Taff starting Ilias or Loop Ilias and Vialea starting Smith. Loop Smith and Taff starting Ilias or Loop. Ilias and Vialea starting Smith. Tough one. I'll probably bank on Smithy playing a bit better, especially if, if Grant's out, then he's going to be killing it. Um, that's the other thing. Never not captaining Cleary again. Yep. It's like uh, rule number one, Cameron Smith or Corey Parker back in the day. 
When our tongue on May King Ilias sells, Ilias could potentially be next week. The rest of them after 13, we'll work it out from there. They could be keepers, man. Tongue on May averaging 45. That's keeper level. Uh, team's good. Good luck. Right, last one, 394 in the bank, only 16 trades. Hold Grant and Cotter through Origin, potentially, but Grant might have an injury. Cotter, I think you definitely hold. The nice still hold, hell yeah. 68's killer. Um, he's going to make a little bit more cash, and he plays 13. You can work him out after that. Looking to upgrade Walker after Origin. Cool. Only issue on the bench is Moale. Should upgrade soon. Well, actually, Viale got 31 last week, so he's not too big of an issue, but yeah, Moale. you got a few cheapies in there, which um, you know, plenty to, to think about it and work on there, but... Overall, team's looking solid. I'd be using that cash as much as you can uh, and going from there, guys. But that's the 19 teams I went through this week. I hope you got a lot out of that. There's plenty of alpha in there, plenty of learnings for next year, for now, for Origin, all the good stuff. Like, subscribe, get around it, join the Discord, and we'll catch you in the next few videos, guys. See you later.